What's up people, you are taking a look at the Moto E and another ROM review and this time it's the Carbon ROM. So starting off from the locked screen, we are getting directly to the active display. Yes, this ROM does support active display and then once we are done that, we also get gesture unlock. That's again a pretty good security and locking system. Inside the app drawer does nothing much, uh, no bloatware especially and thanks to that. If you can see the navigation bar, I have added a whole lot of icons out there, about 5 keys. The ROM is pretty fluid and its status bar is just similar to the Cyanogen mod and other ROMs like Gummy ROM. So we do get to add tiles and layouts. We have a whole lot of tiles to choose, the toggles I mean. And uh, this is the recent apps. I've added the RAM bar at the top. We do get the immersive mode and a quick search at the bottom. Uh, we can also customize the power menu by adding or removing a whole lot of things. Like I said, we also have the search option. And no matter whatever app you are inside, it can allow you to search in app. All right, so sliding from the right side, we get directly to the toggles. Now getting inside the settings we have the main features that are present inside the ROM. First look at the carbon fibers. So we have buttons at the top. What they allow is a few small tweaks like volume control and stuff. Um, nothing great inside device tunables. Interface. All right. So we have the scroller animation out here. So the list view animation which you call it and over here we have the recent panels customization like i've added the ram bar and the clear all button at the right side battery saver mode a uh, quick toggle which is linked to it a uh, pretty great progress bar style you can uh, customize the progress style bar and its colors and stuff so getting back to the settings again uh, but before that i have customize the status bar as you can see so that's also allowed inside the carbon fibers and we have lock screen customization we do get active display like I've shown you at the startup in general we have the minor tweaks of the lock screen like eight slider targets from 4 to 8 we get notification peak battery status and we also get lock screen notifications just know as I enabled 8 slider targets we get access to have 8 shortcuts which can directly open the apps we have the packet mode and all those cool stuff which you can play around in this lock screen notification so basically this ROM also allows us to have a whole lot of customization so as I said we have five navigation keys out there so that's the place where I have modded it so I've added a whole lot of navigation bars you also get a uh, many different navigation buttons to choose from that's your wish we do get dark carbon so dark interface for those who like dark pitch colors uh, we have access to theme engines Alright, so getting back, um, let's head towards display lights. We do get inbuilt screen recorder, that's pretty great for those who like to take reviews and uh, tutorials. Uh, we have the control over the pulse notification light. Unfortunately, we don't have multicolor notification light, uh, but you can adjust the pulse duration and length and speed of the notification light out there and inside apps let's check inside apps now all right uh, so as you can see that I've stored my apps in uh, SD card which means this ROM allows apps to SD that's pretty great again and this is the carbon ROM running on the latest KitKat 4.4.4 and this is a pretty sweet um, carbon signature elegant carbon ROM smooth well that's true
Now this ROM is being one of my favorite. Okay, we have a double tap to sleep. So double tapping the status bar lets us, uh, lets the device to go directly to the lock screen. Inside security, we have the gesture screen unlock, which I showed you at the first. We also have pin, password, pattern, and slide. But what I prefer is the gesture. And we also get heads up notification. Just by pulling it down, you get to the notification. And you can directly swipe either the heads up notification or in the status bar. So that's great again. And we also get lock screen notification like I just showed you in the settings. You can swipe them up over here and it gets deleted and cleared off from your notification panel. That's pretty great again. So this ROM is pretty simple enough. And yeah, this is the notification in the active display. So you can either clear them off or you can directly get inside it by clicking on the icon. So um, I've also themed the navigation ring. I don't prefer the Google search. So I have the task switcher and the Google camera at the so for example, opening the gallery app and opening the phone dialer. So let's switch app. So just by swiping at the left corner, I can switch between these two apps. Pretty great. And that's the recent panel. And we can directly get inside the camera like I have placed it on the right side corner. Double tapping it and there it goes. So that is it guys, to watch more such reviews, do subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.